goals reveal your objectives and empower you to achieve them. A lot of people striving for success look at goals as afterthoughts. They think that they are just things that they need to set up on their way to ultimate success. They kind of look at them as necessary evils. If given a choice, they'd rather not set goals. They would just rather follow their passion or just do what excites them and eventually achieve success. At least this is what they think. Talk about getting it wrong. Goals are crucial for success. In fact, they're so crucial that even unsuccessful people know this. How come? Goals provide you with a map. At the very least, you can see what happens before, during, and after you achieve your goal. For you to achieve an ultimate goal, there are sub-goals that you need to achieve. You get to see the process that you have to go through, the decisions that you have to make, the results that you have to produce along the way. You can also see potential dead ends and potential detours. Goals can also be broken down into small parts which provide milestones. And once you have everything broken down, you can then apply a timeline. This pushes you to take action so that you get to a certain part of your success journey by a certain time. The Big Problem with Goals Goals are fairly easy to explain. They're fairly easy to understand. But the problem is, most people still don't manage to achieve them. Why? Well, setting up goals is one thing. Achieving them is another. This is due to the fact that most people view goals as something that they should work for. They are optional. We can pursue them only when the time is right or when we feel we have the right resources. Most of the time, people have no sense of urgency when it comes to their goals. They don't put themselves in a position where they feel they have to do or die. In fact, given most people's attitudes towards goals, it would be safe to say that they essentially function like some sort of large-scale to-do list. This is a far cry from how successful people deal with goals. Successful people let their goals define them. Successful people look at goals in a completely different way. First of all, they start with their passions, and then they craft goals around them. For example, you are passionate about writing for a living, so your goal is to become a professional freelance writer. You start with a passion, and then you transform it into a goal that is tightly linked to your core passions. When you work towards these goals, you validate your personal values. and You feel that you are expressing your true personal character. Best of all, you end up tapping your core competencies when you let your goals motivate you. There's actually an upward spiral that forms the more you work towards your goals. The more you achieve, the more competent you feel. The more motivated you become, the more you try, and the more you achieve. This spiral can go up, or it can go down. Also, when you achieve your goals, you get a tremendous amount of pride. Plus, you get the tremendous satisfaction that your goals are what you are about. So when you achieve them, you get an enhanced sense of personal meaning. You get the impression that this is what you're supposed to be doing. This is what you're about. This is your destiny. When you operate from this core of passion, goals are no longer things that you should be doing. Instead, they're the things that you were born to do. They're the things you must do. See the difference? Recast your goals until they push you up and out. If your goals don't give you the energy you need to push yourself and expect more from yourself, you need to change your goals. You really do. Don't think that you have to stick to your goals just the way they are. Your goals are not set in stone. They are simply tools. Treat them like tools. First, you need to redefine your goals. What truly is at stake? Is this just a simple matter of getting certain things done by a certain date? Or is this a matter of you living up to your highest potential? Is this goal all about you pursuing your life's destiny? Recast the goal by asking yourself, What would success mean to me as a person? How does achieving this goal relate to my highest values and my value as a person? When you redefine and recast, you can then refocus. But if you look at your goal as essentially linked to the values that mean so much to you on a personal level, you can get a lot more energy. This is just not one set of things that you do on a day-to-day -day basis. This is what actually gives your life meaning. This is what actually gives you purpose to get up day after day. Recap. Goals must do the following. Otherwise, you need to redefine, recast, and refocus them. First, they must energize you. To do this, your goals must give you a sense of why. When you go about your goals, you gain a sense of purpose. Your life is no longer random. You're no longer doing things by accident. You're no longer doing things based on how you feel. Instead, you're doing something because this gives you meaning. This gives you purpose. Next, goals must direct you to action. They give you something to aim for. 
They give you something to focus on. Goals must, at the very least, instruct you. This means that you are focused on how to do things and what to do. Finally, your goals must be capable of being broken down. This is crucial because if your goal is something that is amorphous and distant or symbolic, they're not going to help you make changes. You're not going to achieve success because it's too theoretical. At the very least, your goals must be capable of being broken down into the following. You can turn them into sub-goals and daily to-do lists. That's the bare minimum. Also, make sure that when you look at your sub-goals and daily to-do lists that there are repeatable parts. So you can do them day after day, week after week, month after month, year after year. Look at each of these sub-goals and to-do lists and ask yourself if they're scalable. You must be able to scale them up so that improvements on one level leads to easier improvements or greater improvements at other levels. Another dimension of the right goals is the fact that they are measurable. You have to know whether you have actually achieved a goal. There has to be certain quality standards. And finally, when you're crafting your goals, you must be able to associate them with emotional states. You must be able to associate them with a sense of victory, a sense of purpose, and a sense of destiny. If that's not possible or if that's not happening, then you're doing something wrong. You're not really setting up goals. Instead, you're giving yourself a list of advisory things that you should be doing. Remember, people feel that they don't have the time, energy, or attention for things they should be doing. Instead, they focus on the things they must be doing. So your goals must be at that level. It must be one that you have to do day after day. It's as if you have no choice in the matter. The good news. The good news is that the more you achieve sub-goals, the more they become habits. Success is a habit. But for you to keep doing these things over and over, make sure all the elements I described above are present. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.